All of our Continuant Connect solutions have voice security as a component, right? Uh, when we're doing Connect calling, we're in Teams. The Teams leverage is SIP, but it is TLS, it's encrypted, top to bottom. The trunks that we use, so the connection back to the carrier, um, those are also encrypted as well. When we're talking about hybrid connect, and we're, you know, we have a legacy PBX on premises, and we're trying to tie that back to the cloud as well and leverage our services, we can encrypt those trunks, right? So we're, we're very attentive to, um, you know, those security requirements that different organizations have. The same is true across uh, the legacy connect as well. You have an old PBX sitting there. We want to start to centralize. We want to start to leverage the um, cost savings of, you know, centralizing and some of the resilience of a cloud-based PSTN service. We can encrypt all of that. We can be very attentive to it. Once they actually connect to our platform, we also have another level of voice security, including things like DDoS mitigation, fraud protection, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in the form of like blacklisting, whitelisting, known toll fraud countries, things like that. Uh, so we work with organizations to make sure that we're meeting those security requirements with a lot of it already built into our platform as it stands today. It's really on the back end and a lot of the customers won't actually see it as much as being aware of it. Um, we do have conversations with the customer about it, but things like DDoS protection is really just a matter of building out um, various thresholds around like how, you know, how many calls are we getting from somewhere, do we see a bunch of spam coming in. Same thing as uh, with toll fraud protection, we are just very aware of where those kind of calls originate from, right, and we're able to blacklist those countries. But the customer's aware of that, and if they're doing business with calls from those countries, we actually work to make sure that those calls are getting through, right? So we're not, you know, blacklisting a, a country eternally for, for any particular organization. Um, but we want to make sure that everybody's well protected, too, right? And it's not interrupting your business.